Texas up to the wonderful world of Canada <laughs> and uh, our good friend, Dr. Michael Leike. Hello, Michael. Hi, Kevin. Hi, everybody out there. It's a great honor and a pleasure to be here again this day. I'm going to require the assistance of one, one person for this, uh, this experiment of the mind, if you will. So if we can call somebody up, that would be really great. Not call somebody up from beyond, but uh, from this. Uh, ah, Jill. Hi, Jill. A flower. How are you this day? I'm fine. You're looking wonderful. It's wonderful to see you again, as always. Uh, we're going to try an experiment using ESP cards, what are commonly called ESP cards. Some people call them Zener cards, and they're named for Carl Zener, um, a parapsychologist, perceptual parapsychologist, who used them in experiments with um, Dr. Ryan at Duke University. And there's this whole thinking behind the symbology of the cards, um, very similar to Carl Jung's thoughts. Um, in other words, our subconscious mind is filled with symbols. And if we look at them enough, we can figure ourselves out and other people and all that sort of thing. We're, we're not going to do anything quite as complex as that today. I, I, I'm pleased to announce, yes. So um, we'll bring down the, um, the camera and I'm going to, let's see what the best way to do this. We'll spread them out and I would love you to change the order. Um, in other words, we'll call this one, two, three, four, five. You can switch one for five, two for three, whatever you want to do as many times as you'd like so that you're the one, it's as if you're the one who dealt the cards down in a particular order. So please, Jill, um, would you like to change anything or do you like it as is? One and four. One, two, three, four, one and four. We'll and show them two what four. and five. Two and five. There we go. Are you happy with that? Or you still want no, to make three some... and one? Ah, <laughs> uh, three and one. There that's we go. It. I'm happy. With We're that. good. Yes. Now that's that's the easy part. You you get the easy part. I get the difficult part. I have a set of matching ESP cards here as well, and I've set it upon myself to attempt to match them. In other mm -hmm. words, to match my set with yours and. It's going to be challenging. There, there's a lot of theories as well saying, well, you can pick up uh, a feel of how much ink is on the face and all that sort of thing. I try to go with more looking at yours and seeing exactly. Oh boy, oh boy. I've set a difficult task for myself. I tell you, if this if this works, if we even get one, I'll be pleased and quite surprised. Oh, I trust you. I'll... <laughs> it's so, because I'm getting mixed, not mixed messages, but mixed impressions. Sometimes the black ink, indelible as it is, it tends to move around in my own mind. Why I have half a mind. <laughs> And we're just, by default, we're going to place that one there. I do suspect they match, but we'll see just how well I did. Your job was easy. Should we start? Yes. Honestly, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit scared. However, we did succeed in matching the first set. I think one I should put... Five one. ain't bad. <laughs> Should I quit while I'm ahead? No, carry on. My wife says I should quit while I'm afoot, but I don't quite <laughs> know what that means. Um, okay, we're going to look at this one. The three wavy lines. Unbelievable. Well, I've got two out of five. Splendid. Should I forge? Should I forge on? 
go on. Yes, go for very, it. Very good. Now, remember, this was the default one. It was the last one left, so I didn't really have a choice. However, it does match. Two more. Ooh. The last two. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling rather cross today. We'll see. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, we did it, Jill. We did I'm it. I'm really impressed. That's pretty good. Thank you so much for helping me this day. I'm impressed. I'm quite surprised. Have an awesome rest of the day. Thank, thank you. you. Back to you, Kev. Thanks, Michael. Excellent stuff, as always.